I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions on my YouTube channel. How do I find old historic sites to metal detect? I've got a pretty good website that I use and I'm going to show you how to use it so you too can find those old historic sites to metal detect. Good morning all you YouTube detectorists. My name is Tony and this is 5280 Adventures. If you enjoy metal detecting videos just like this one, as well as treasure hunting adventures, I would love for you to be part of the community here, and you can start by subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications as well, so you won't miss out on any new videos that are released. So I've been metal detecting for about uh, four years now, and I'm always looking uh, for tips from other YouTubers or Facebook friends as to how they find great old metal detecting sites. The answer to that question always seems to be the same. It's all about location, location, location. But the most difficult part is actually finding that location. Where do I start looking? Where do I go to start door knocking? Where am I gonna find that old site? So I'm gonna let you in on a secret tool that I use for me to do my research to find those old sites. Okay, I use old maps. Whoa. There really is no get rich quick scheme or anything like that on how you can do the research to find these places. It's gonna take lots of time and effort for you to uh, locate the old map and actually do the research to find an old area that you can then go out and metal detect. So now you're asking me, Tony, where do I find all of these maps that you use to find these old metal detecting sites? And that there is the million dollar question. Now what I use is I actually use the internet to find these old maps and then once I locate those old maps and then the areas that I want to research uh, and metal detect that, I actually cross reference them over to satellite images of the area today, um, even going down to street level view just to see what it looks like. So it might be an area, it might not be an area that I'm interested in looking at. Now there's a lot of different websites um, that contain all of these different maps that you can use. Some are from the 1950s and some are from the 1850s. Uh, it just depends on that specific area that you're looking for, whether or not they have topographical maps for that uh, time period, or if they only have newer maps for that time period. And now since you already clicked on this video, I know that you wanna learn how to do uh, different kind of research to, uh, to find some areas to metal detect. And what I'm gonna tell you is at the end of this video, I'm gonna leave you a playlist that will outline a whole bunch of different videos about how I do research um, and different tools that I use to find some older sites. So please stay tuned to the end. Make sure that you click on that playlist and continue to learn about different uh, tools that I use. Um, and then also leave me some comments as to what tools that you use because again, I'm interested in learning from everybody uh, and because that helps me do my research a lot better. But for now, let's head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you the website uh, that I use to find old maps and I'm gonna show you how to use it and then show you how I actually go through the entire process of researching a good site. Okay, so we're over on the computer now and I'm gonna pull up Google and just type in Historic Map Works. That's the website that I'm gonna actually use to show you today how I uh, research some old areas. Click on Historic Map Works. Now the really cool thing about Historic Map Works is right down here in the uh, search bar, you can see that you're gonna search 1,662,956 historical maps and images. That is a lot of map, a lot of research, uh, and a lot of opportunity to find some good stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here, uh, you're gonna type in a county that you live in. I'm gonna actually type in Cuyahoga County, which is the county that I grew up in in Ohio and hit that search bar. Now what's gonna be returned is uh, a whole bunch of different maps. You can see here these, all the different years that are on here. These are all maps that you can use. Now, I always look for the oldest one first because um, that's the, the spot that I wanna go metal tech is the oldest. So I look up kind of Cuyahoga County right here, 1874. We're gonna click on that. Now this returns a whole bunch of different maps. These are all different maps that you can click on, all the colored maps. Um, and what we're actually gonna look at, let's look up right here, Middleburg. We'll click on Middleburg. It brings up the map for you um, specifically, which is fantastic. One of the cool things that Historic uh, Map Works uses is you can actually overlay this map. And this is really what I like um, because it puts you right uh, the map right over the newest map and then you can see exactly uh, how the roads match up and what they're doing there. 
So let's click on Historic Earth. And this is all entirely free. This is not the premium version. This is everything that you can do right out of the box. So you can see that they've overlaid this map specifically right onto Northeastern Ohio. Um, and there's nothing that you have to do to fix it, to uh, square it up or anything like that. The really cool thing that I like about this is over on the right hand side, you can actually make the map, the map that we just put on there, make it more opaque. So you can drop this down and you can see that's the, the current map and we're looking at Berea right there uh, that's outlined in pink. And you can see how that works there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in right here and I know this area pretty well right here. This is, this street right here is Prospect. At this intersection, it changes to Henry Street. Now, keep your eye on Prospect down here. As I change that, the old map that overlays it, you can see it lines up pretty darn close. So I know that the overlay map is, is uh, pretty accurate as to what Berea looks like today. One of the things that I can see here on the old map is this road right here ends doesn't continue that road is west bridge street it ends right here at henry and prospect it actually changes but you can see it continues you can see it continues on that's obviously a newer road that was not there in 1874. one of the other things that i like to do is i will bring up the google satellite and once you click on that it kind of brings up that uh, aerial view of what the town or the area looks like today. Now we know going all the way down into here where Bridge Street comes in, this is the fire station. This is the current fire station right there. And at one time, those were all houses on that strip right there. There was no road that came through. But what I see, and I, and I do know this from experience actually, is there is a two-story fully created constructed sandstone house that's right here right next to the fire station and look what happens when i uh, put the other map on top that's telling me right there that that house has been there from 187 at least 1874. one of the other things that i i notice is this area right over here now concentrate on that as i bring the other map on top how many different houses are on that stretch right there i see five four or five um, that were on that spot right there. That might be a really good area that I would wanna look at um, when I go back to Berea and see if that's an area that I wanna research. Let's look at one more uh, I wanna show you. So let's go back to historic areas. We're gonna go over to the 1892 map. Uh, we're gonna scroll down to Olmsted Falls. The Olmsted Falls, there's a lot of maps here, uh, a lot in Cleveland, um, but let's go down to Olmsted Falls right here. We'll click on Olmsted Falls. It is not a color, it's black and white, but that's fine, still works the same. Look at this, Historic Earth. Let's overlay that on Olmsted Falls. Now again, let's look at the opacity. And you can see Bagley Road and Columbia, it used to be called Hamlin Street. Now it's called Bagley Road and Columbia match up perfectly. So I know that what we're looking at is pretty darn close to what uh, it looks like today. One of the things that I thought was quite interesting right here, um, when I did this research, look at this. There was a hotel in 1892 on the corner of what they have Mill Street and Columbia. Again, pull up that Google satellite. And we can see if we zoom into this, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful hotel still standing there. Unbelievable spot. This is probably redone multiple times. That's not really an area that you're probably gonna wanna metal detect, but just cool history on an 1892 map. Let me go back to the old map and I wanna point out one more thing. While doing the research on this uh, specific spot, I zoomed in over here and I can see, look at this. This is an old dump. An old dump right here on the river. Now knowing history about where they place dumps and things like that, 
This actually relates to what we know about where they put the dumps. They put them near water. When I go back over and bring on uh, the satellite image, look what we have. We've got new condos that are built right there on the river, right on that dump. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be a spot that we would want to go uh, looking for stuff. But down here, um, there may still be some remnants down here in the river. You never know. It could be a, a nice spot, uh, maybe late summer to get down into and uh, see, see what's down on the river. The last thing that I wanted to show you was this spot right here for John Bryan's. So if we're looking at this again, the streets match up really well. Um, and we can see that John Bryan's owned two acres there on the corner. When I look at the current map, we've got a house that's sitting on that spot right there. And that two acres is right here. That to me would be a great spot to go and visit. There could be stuff out here. This hasn't been developed or, or tilled over or anything like that all around that house. There could be some old remnants that are around that house for sure. All right, so I wanna show you one more thing with the information that I take um, when I go back and I actually do further research. I'm gonna jump back over here to the 1874 map uh, and go back to that Berea spot. We're gonna throw it on the big map. We're gonna zoom in down here to the Berea spot. and bring this over right here. Now, the area that I wanna look at is right down here. I know that this is Coe Lake, that's been there forever. We can see, um, if we look at this particular location, look how many houses are on this road. And again, in looking at it, how well does it match up with the old satellite image? Pretty darn close, but check this out. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses on this short road called Bevan Street. So what I'm gonna do now is I actually go over to Google Maps and I pull up maps. I'm gonna type in Berea, Ohio, and Berea comes up. Now look what we have here. We've got Coe Lake right here and we've got Bevan Street. Now, what I do is I will actually turn on the satellite image and look at the houses that are still there. And in fact, I will click on, uh, drop a pin down there, and then if you click on the picture at the bottom of the screen here, that is a street view. You click on that, you can go right down to the street. If you've ever seen those uh, cars driving around with the big ball on top, there's got cameras all around. This is what they're doing, is they're taking video of this, um, of the area so that you can actually look at it. So as I get down here, uh, look at this. We've got a ha we've got an old house here out uh, with a fireplace chimney on the outside. Uh, let's go back down the street and look at this. We've got uh, old house, old house, old house, um, all the way down the street. Um, the one thing that I noticed was uh, check out this old uh, threshold stone that's sitting in this yard right here. Um, this to me looks like a super old house probably back to the 1870s, maybe uh, who knows how far prior back to that, that this road, this street is probably a street that I'm going to go down and do some door knocking on and see if I can get any permissions. Now, there's really no rocket science to how I do my research. I do, I scour the internet for the old maps. Um, there's some really good sites. For this particular one, Historic Map Works is exactly what I've used. Um, Looked at the old maps, cross-referenced to current uh, satellite images, and even looked at the street view to see what everything looks like today. And then I'm gonna head out, start doing some door knocking, and then I'm gonna be able to find all of that old treasure, uh, the old history, and all of the old relics and coins that are sitting in the ground that are just waiting to be saved. So as I promised you uh, at the beginning of the video, I know that you're into research and how you can improve your research. I've got a video right there. It's a playlist of all of the videos that I've done on research. Make sure that you click on that video, continue watching so you can learn how to do some different kind of research and it'll help you when you do your metal detecting. I appreciate all the support guys. And as always, I will see you on the next adventure. Take care.